Sup? So a little bit ago, I made a video simping for Colosso and Magoon. I said it was the best anime course I ever took. I talked a bunch about it. It was a good time. I got a decent number of views. So the funny story is that Colosso saw that video and they reached out to me and they're like, hey, uh, you want to make another one? So yes, this is an ad. This is a sponsored video by Colosso, but for what it's worth, this is the type of content that I make anyway. I find art things specifically about anime usually or concept art, and then I share them if they're helpful so that other people can maybe find them helpful too. So this kind of fits in line with what I was doing anyway. I'm going to be honest, I promise. Okay, so before the class, uh, this was my level of art that I could do. I posted it on the twitter.com. Uh, it is what it is, you see it. And now after taking the class, this is what I can make. The class that I took that I'm talking about that I'm reviewing is this one right here. It is Drawing and Coloring Anime Styled Characters by Chan, and you can find the link to it along with the promo code down in the description below. About that though, the code is only good for like seven days after this video is launched, so sorry future viewers, the code doesn't work anymore. But also I want to talk about the price because I mentioned this in the Magoon video, I'm going to mention it again. If you look here, it says that the price is this large amount. It's actually not that large amount. It's, it's actually substantially cheaper. It's actually the sale price. So have some confidence that it will still be around whatever the sale price is. You don't actually have to rush out and go out and get this because it's super, super expensive. It's really not. All you have to do is just go look at other premium classes, you know, like Schoolism or Learn Squared. And if you look at their catalog, you'll see right here that uh, it's about the same price. So a little bit of a marketing trick on their end. I mean, it's capitalism, right? So a little bit about the course. It's just videos. It's not live. There's no feedback. It's just a library of videos for you to go through on your own time, which is great if you're busy and you have, you know, a life or work or kids or other things you have to do. So you just go through these library of videos as you have time. Okay, so with that said, do I recommend you take this class? Mm, I, yes. I mean, I, you saw the improvement I'm making this video. Yes, I recommend you take it, but I have a caveat. What I mean by that is that this class and all of the classes on Colosso, they are very, very, very dense. They, it's like drinking from a fire hose, man. It's ridiculous. The amount of content, the amount of like how much detail they're trying to teach you, the, how deep they go on certain topics, the context that they provide for you to understand why this principle is important or why you should care about X, Y, Z and how it relates to the industry or something else you might want to do. It's crazy. I, okay, I have a wife, I have a kid, I have a full-time job and I was forced to go through this entire course in a month which really felt like rushing it i was forced to because the video has to launch on this day right so in my perfect world if you were to take this i would recommend that you take it like a college course view it like something that you do in a quarter like in three months or four months and take one video lesson every like other day while doing the homework in between because there's just a lot of information and a lot of drills and a lot to take in. And it's not something that you can just kind of like browse through like, oh, I'm gonna watch an art video on YouTube or oh, I'm gonna, you know, find some art tip on TikTok or Twitter or Instagram. Like this, is, it's, it's, it's hardcore, uh, which is cool if that's what you're looking for. If you're motivated, if you wanna do that, sweet. If you're not, uh, your eyes are just gonna glaze over because it is just so, it's a lot, it's a lot of information. Which I guess you can maybe try to skew as a bad thing. Like, oh, there's so much information and it's so dense. Ah, uh, it's like, that's, that's great, right? That's what you want, like, that's what you're paying money for, right? So I say that as a warning to like adjust your expectations but not as like a detriment to the class. I, I, I mean, again, you saw the results that I got. I think it's amazing. I think you should take it, but that's just a little fair warning for you. So the rest of the video is gonna be a time-lapse of me making the art thing, this one right there. Uh, time-lapse of me sharing the takeaways that I got from it. Uh, the, <laughs> the bits of the fire hose that I was able to actually like gleam swallow because you're drinking from it. Okay, <laughs> this is what I learned. Okay, so this first lesson is more of a general headspace mindset sort of thing. Uh, but it's take your time and knowledge is power. So this piece, what you're seeing now, this took longer than anything else I've ever done. It took me, hold on, let me let me count up all the recordings. There. Hold on, give me a second. Okay, here it is. Um, here's the math. So this is the first one. Uh, we're 43 minutes. Look at the time here also, just a little adventure here. Um, okay, so 43, I'll do the math and post. 43 minutes, 44 minutes, hour and two, four. Okay, that's a lot. I skipped it for you. That was boring. 
And there's the title. Uh, it's in the future. I can't read it, but you see it, viewer. That's how long this took me, so forever. Uh, I slaved away on this thing for a really long time, and the reason I was able to do that was because I wasn't lost. So, like, okay, so with the time lapse right here, if you look at this, have you ever had a moment where you're like, what am I doing with my life? This is trash. I'm trash. This was a mistake. Everything is awful. I can't believe I'm doing this. And you're just kind of like, you know, give up or, you know, you like walk away and, you know, play video games for way longer than you plan to because you're just kind of sad that what you are trying to make happen isn't happening. Well, okay, yeah, that's me. <laughs> I do that literally all the time. Um, but when you have knowledge, which this class gives you a lot of, you can stomach through the ugly cringe parts of your process because you know that you're only on step like one of five. You know what you have to do next and you have the context for what you're seeing and what you're trying to do. You're not just alone trying to figure it out. You're on a specific path, an art journey that an art professor has laid out for you and that you can just kind of trust the process and be like, okay, I know this looks like absolute butthole, but it's going to get better and I'm just going to, you know, stick to my training and stay the course and eventually it'll get better. And for me, guess what? It did. Okay, the next big lesson is about eye gaze and composition. So TLDR in Western countries where you read from left to right, the eye starts at the top left of an illustration and it works its way down to the bottom right. And there's four basic compositions you can use to influence this and get the viewer to look where you want. These are a triangle, an upside down triangle, a diamond, which is just two triangles stuck together, and a figure eight. A triangle composition makes you feel regal and peaceful and serene. An upside down triangle is dynamic and exciting. A diamond is a mix of the two, so it's balanced. And then the figure eight gives off holy vibes. Another takeaway is about focal points, which you can do by increasing detail and contrast. So have a lot of detail and high contrast where you want your viewer to look. Usually this is almost always the face. Like there's a reason why anime eyelashes are so big and so black and why the eyes are so detailed. The black eyelashes are often the highest point of contrast against the skin and the eyes have more detail than any other element, typically. And then lighting also comes into play here to put in shadow, what's unimportant and put the light where you want attention. So, I mean, personally for me, I'm not too happy personally with how these eyes turned out. Like, here's a close-up of them if the time lapse isn't there yet. Eh, I mean, like, four out of ten for me, maybe five out of ten. Um, but, you know, I guess I'll just keep working on it. But I'm glad that at least it's better than the comparison I did before this, right? All right, and for the last tip I'll share, it's about lighting, which I touched on earlier. But when you're planning your scene, draw a grid of where you're going to put your lights, like a little note to yourself. So have a column for direction, color, and strength, and then the amount of lights you're going to have on the other side. So the first light is always just the light in the space. You can think of it like the color of the air or the shadow color. And then after that, it's however you want to light your scene. So in the example that I made, I had a blue shadow color to complement Kiara's orange scheme, and then a strong light from the top right and a strong light from the bottom left. And I made it white slash yellow soft to not super contrast with the white background because I wasn't making a super complex background because I'm still learning a whole lot. So overall, I'm pretty encouraged by what I was able to make. Uh, it's definitely the best thing I've made so far, which is pretty cool to see, though I'm already thinking of ways that it could be better and what I want to practice next, but I guess that's just part of it, right? So all in all, I really can't complain. I made the best thing I've ever made because of this course, and I'm excited and motivated to continue learning and see how high I can go. If you want to learn more about the types of classes Colosso offers outside of the one that I mentioned, a bunch of other art YouTubers you may know have made content similar to this video and shared their experiences with the platform. You can find the links to them in the description. All right, that's it. I hope this helped you. I hope that it gave you something to think about. Uh, take the class if you're feeling like it. If not, then don't. <laughs> but there's more information for you to look at either through the other U YouTubers that have done Colosso sponsored videos and just on the website themselves. Go poke around. I think that it's a great resource and I think it'd really help you. So. I'll be back with another video sometime later. Thanks for the support. Bye.